Welcome to how to record an EIDL loan in QuickBooks Online. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. And so uh, I'm sure you have heard about the EIDL loan as well as the PPP loan. There is a difference between the two, okay? The PPP loan, uh, which I have a number of videos on that you can check out on my channel, uh, is the forgivable loan, okay? That's the, the Paycheck Protection Program. The EIDL loan, on the other hand, is a pure, what's called a disaster loan, and that is not a forgivable loan, all right? So uh, the EIDL loan, you have to pay back, uh, generally over uh, 30 years, three and three quarters percent interest, and so you need to record this in, in QuickBooks Online as a true uh, loan, okay? So this video is gonna walk you through how to do that, all right? So the first thing that you wanna do is, you know, the, the process is, you know, you get an email from the SBA, they're gonna tell you, okay, you qualify for this loan, set up your account, and it's kind of a cumbersome process, and uh, it takes a while. I know some people that are just getting it now. Um, I know some people that have had it for a couple weeks. And uh, so once you get this money, you have to record it in QuickBooks correctly, and I see a lot of people that are doing it wrong, okay? All right, so the first thing that I want you to do is go up to your gear icon up here, all right? And you're gonna to go to your chart of accounts. All right, so we're gonna pull up uh, this sample file. We'll take a peek here. And the EIDL loan is going to be a long-term liability. Okay, so you'll see this type right here. A current liability is something that is gonna be paid within the next year. And a long-term liability is gonna be something that you are going to pay back in longer than a year. Okay, so since the IDL loan goes longer than a year, we're gonna set that up as a long-term liability. So we're gonna go click new, all right? And we're gonna say account type, uh, long-term liability. Uh, you can say detail type as notes payable. And we are going to call this the EIDL loan, okay? Uh, you don't need a description. We're not doing a sub account. And uh, when do you wanna start uh, tracking your finances? Uh, you know, beginning of this year is fine, whatever. Uh, it could be today if you're getting the money today, all right? Now, I don't want you to put in a beginning balance right here because this is gonna put it to an account called opening balance equity. And we definitely do not want to put it to that account, okay? So we're gonna hit save and close, all right? Now, if you go back through your chart of accounts, you're going to see that we have EIDL loan set up as a long-term liability, all right? And it's got a zero balance. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're going to, we're gonna assume that you're gonna get this money, it's gonna come in, it's gonna go directly, it's a direct deposit to your account. So let's say that we had given them the account information for our savings account, and so we wanna put it into that account. Now there's a couple ways you could do this. You could go d directly to the register, you can record it. Uh, you know, if you're, if you're comfortable with that, you can definitely do it that way. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do this uh, through the deposit function, okay? So, you know, either way, you can go to the register, all right, and we're gonna take this out of here, and you can enter the information here and say this is a deposit, you know, and it's from the EIDL loan account, and it'll deposit it in there, all right? Simple as that. Now, if you're comfortable with that, some people aren't comfortable putting items into the register. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to banking, and we are going to go over to bank deposit, all right, and you're gonna say down here, we're not messing with this, okay? These are uh, payments, undeposited funds in this sample file. So you will not have this if you don't have undeposited funds. So you're gonna say add funds to this deposit. We're gonna say receive from, and we're gonna say the SBA. All right, so since that is not a vendor, we're gonna add that. All right, we're gonna say the name, and we're gonna say this is a vendor, and we're gonna say save, okay? Now the account, this is coming from is EIDL loan. All right, so the account we just set up, and if you wanna type in a description, you can, reference number, et cetera, and we're gonna say this is $150,000, okay? Now, up here, you wanna make sure that you've got this going to the right account. So we're gonna put this to our savings account instead of the checking, all right? And there's no cash back, none of that. We've got everything recorded. We're going to hit save and close. Okay. So now you can see here in the savings account, 
we've got a balance of 150,800, so it went up by 150,000. And if I scroll down here to the EIDL loan, you can see we have a balance of 150,000, all right? This does not affect your profit and loss, all right? What it does, and I'm gonna show you here, is it only affects your balance sheet. The balance sheet is your assets and your liabilities, and since the loan is a liability, and since uh, the cash is an asset, the savings account, it's gonna show up here, 150,000 is in there, and in the loan, EIDL loan, $150,000, okay? Now, as you spend it, this balance will not go down because you still owe that money. It will go down as you make payments and principal payments, and but you will spend it or move it to your checking or whatever up here out of the savings, okay? Any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, you know, a comment, a question, happy to, to answer some of those basic questions for you. Also head over to the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org. Got a whole lot more over there uh, with the training tutorials and where I answer your personal questions.